morning. It's Friday, two days before Halloween. You know, there's a scripture that says, To him that esteemeth the day, let him esteemeth it unto the Lord. Something very interesting, I find. Knowing the background of this holiday, just about everything about it is evil. But, again, to him that esteemeth the day, who recognizes it, gives it any power whatsoever, let him do it unto the Lord, the Bible says. And if your conscience doesn't bother you about something, condemning yourself is worse because we're not condemned. The cross freed us. That doesn't mean we can just go about and sin, but I'm going to esteem the day unto the Lord. You know the common thread about all this stuff? What's the common thread of Frankenstein? They put a body back together of other bodies to try to create some kind of creature that has eternal life. Cats, they got nine lives. What about vampires? Hmm, how about that? Vampires, they need blood in order to continue to live, yet they can't live in light. You know why? Because everything about them is death. Well, you know what? Jesus Christ, my Savior, died on the cross. Everything about him is now life. The Lord gave the word, whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises. Blessed is he that readeth. So, what I'm doing right now and I'm encouraging anybody else to do the same. See these little Frankenstein bags? Within them, there's a Bible verses, an Am I Going to Heaven booklet, a couple pieces of candy, and I'm going to be inserting into these little bags a sign above it saying, Free gift, take one. Read the words within. To break your spell, if you believe that book, you'll escape hell. Esteem of the day unto the Lord. Make it count. With every piece of candy you give out, give out a Bible verses, give out a track, print something on your computer with a scripture. There you go. Give them a scripture. Tell them about Jesus Christ. Google something and print it out. Don't condemn yourself for the day. Use it. Casting all your care upon him, for he cares for you. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, with all thy mind. Can you do that? Of course you can't. You're a sinner. You're a sinner. Jesus Christ died for you and me. Read these words in him, and you think ye have eternal life, but they are they which speak of me, the scripture says. God, be merciful unto me, a sinner. I believe Christ died for me. And that his precious blood, his blood, will cleanse me from all my sin. By faith I now receive the Lord Jesus Christ into my heart as my Lord and my Savior, and trusting him for the salvation of my soul. Help me, Lord, to do thy will each day. In Jesus' name I pray. Scripture says these things have I written unto you. That believe on the name of the Son of God and that ye may know that ye have eternal life and that ye may believe on the name of the Son of God. That ye may believe. Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. My peace I give unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. And the peace of God which passeth all understanding
shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Do you want peace that makes no sense when others think you should be falling apart? Do you want to know where you really go when you die? We don't have nine lives. We have one eternal life. Where are you going to spend it? I'm giving this day back to the Lord and using it to share his word. God bless you folks. Perfect love casteth out fear. Enjoy the day. If you esteem it, esteem it unto the Lord. If you esteem it not, if you don't, then you give that back to the Lord too. Bottom line, he is the center. God bless.